So we're first going to look at the sort function. So we'll go ahead and we'll add another heading here. change our keys here and since this is a indexed or numeric array we don't need the quotes because we're not using a string so before we run this let's go ahead and run the sort function which looks like this and and we need to tell it which array we want to sort so hosts and save this and we'll take a look at it and I just noticed there's a mistake here that's worth noting when allowing the keys to be assigned automatically we actually start with zero so we need zero one and two and let's go ahead and change our label here We're going to go ahead and copy this here and we'll paste it here on line 23. And because we want to see these, because we want to see the results before the sort happens. So let's go ahead and add another heading here. So now we'll be able to get a better idea of what's going on uh, when we run the sort function. So save this, and there you go. So what you'll notice is, before we ran the sort, it gave us the values in the order that we put them in. After we ran the sort, it looked at the values and it sorted them alphabetically. Now, just to make things a little easier to read, I'm gonna go ahead and add an HR tag after these two. And again, uh, all this I'm doing here isn't necessary, but I figured to give you a better example of how we actually use these, uh, just spitting out the values without anything else uh, is, isn't a very good example. So, so let's go ahead and take a look at a different variation of this sort array. I'm going to go ahead and copy this entire block here and paste it below. And instead of running just the plain sort, we're going to run the R sort. And that is going to sort everything in reverse. So we'll go ahead and save that. Take a look here. And there you go. It just did reverse alphabetical for us. We're going to take a look at one more basic sorting function here. Let's go ahead and copy this. And paste it again below. And instead of sort, we're going to do shuffle, which you might already have an idea of what that's going to do. And that is going to shuffle and it's going to do it randomly. So when we take a look at this, and there you go. So we've shuffled. Now when I refresh, now when I refresh, we should get a different result. And there you go. So that's a quick look into some of the sorting options with arrays. Uh, we'll go ahead and save a copy of this.